Ladies and gentlemen, we are happy to be together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have in this time of uh, internet uh, lots of wonderful things, but also lots of misunderstandings and sometimes slander, uh, let alone um, other uh, inventions. Let us talk uh, tonight or this evening about the claims that there are Zionist symbols or uh, Masonic symbols in the Vatican. Um, recently, uh, I, someone said that he saw the same criticism against the Orthodox Church, the Byzantine Orthodox Church. Of course, uh, we are, we are trying to, to reply, to answer, to react. Uh, although, uh, some people would say, well, leave all these objections alone because there is no goodwill from the other side. Well, we suppose there is goodwill and we follow the advice of St. Peter in his first letter, chapter 3, verse 15. Be always ready to defend the hope that is in you, not just to respond, but also to defend. Uh, talking about the Star of David, apparently it is on the... Mm, so uh, uh, are uh, seen some photographs of Pope Benedict XVI with the Star of David. Does this mean Zionism? Of course, Christianity sprang from Judaism, rebelled against the uh, external law of Judaism, not against the, the Ten Commandments. Uh, Jesus abolished uh, circumcision, the distinction uh, among uh, uh, food, uh, yeah, different sorts of food, uh, other things. But uh, at the same time, we may say that Christianity assumed some symbols of the Old Testament by changing them, not giving them at all the same meaning. Because for us, according to the Gospel of Luke, chap uh, uh, first chapter, verses 26 and following, the angel Gabriel tells the Virgin Mary, for tells the Virgin Mary that her son will be given the throne of David, his father. Which means that for us, this star of David is the star of Jesus, born like David in Bethlehem, like David, king, like David, anointed one. Well, not just like David, but more than David, and he is actually David's Lord. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand. So, uh, <clears throat> now... Mm, uh, I, if I may, I personally doubt that uh, the Pope Benedict XVI on purpose wears this, this mitre with the Star of David. And if there is anything, any problem in that, well, uh, we clergy of the Middle East, especially from Palestine, we are ready to write to the Vatican. What imports in are the positions of the Vatican in the Palestinian Jewish conflict. Uh, as you well know, or perhaps you don't, the Holy See did not have any uh, diplomatic relations with Israel until 1993. And it had started four months later to have diplomatic relations with the Palestinian Authority, the Palestinian Autonomy, although it was not, and it is not until now, still, it's not a state. Which means that Israel waited at least for, let's say, from 1948 until 1994, more or less 1948, so at least 46 years, in order to have diplomatic relations 
with the Holy See, but the Palestinian Authority, the Palestinian, yes, the Palestinian National Authority has already relations with the, uh, with the Holy See before even becoming a state. I don't want to go into, uh, into other details. Uh, let us just remember the position of the Vatican, two states in the Holy Land, not just one state, the Jewish, the, well, let's say Israel. Uh, on the other hand, we remember here in Palestine the visit of John Paul II to the refugee camp of Deheshe, where you have refugees from 1948. We remember back in 2000, that was in 2000, we remember back in 2009, uh, May, I think, uh, the visit of John Paul, of, sorry, Pope Benedict XVI to the refugee camp of Aida, all in the Bethlehem area. All of these two, both these refugee camps have refugees, not from 1967, but from 1948 from 1948, which means that the Vatican uh, time and again, again and again repeats the right of return of the Palestinian refugees of 1948, a, uh, a claim which is completely rejected by uh, Zionists who do not want any such return and who see in it a threat. Of course, I am not a politician, you, you know that, but uh, I am just answering those who claim that the Vatican is, uh, has some uh, Masonic or and uh, Jewish symbols. Uh, a book already, a uh, mastery book was distributed to all of the fathers of Vatican Council II, back in the 60s of last century, of Anthony Pinai or Pine, uh, plot against the church, and that book shows uh, the enmity uh, between uh, the Vatican um, and the anti-Christian Judaism, not Judaism as such. Uh, about talking about the cross, the upside down cross, it's not a Masonic symbol. It's the symbol of St. Peter who was crucified upside down according to tradition, of course, in Rome. Uh, he was crucified in Rome and he refused to be crucified, uh, so you know, he would have said, like his Lord and Master. So, uh, please, when you, again and again, when you, when you read things, well, let us look at them with a critical eye. Uh, how come all this criticism, how come all this child abuse problem uh, with against a Catholic priest since 1945? Things are coming up since 1945. How come they are coming up? Now, after the year 2010, or after the year 2000, is that, well, it's a horrible thing, child abuse. By the way, it's, apparently it's pathologic, it's a disease. Uh, I wouldn't really like to enter into details, but um, it's a horrible, it's a horrible thing, and uh, Pope Benedict, His Holiness Pope Benedict the Sixteenth, and behind him the whole Catholic Church has all intention to be very severe or to be more severe than ever uh, with such cases. Thanks, Sachin.